Looky, looky, looky. Man, did I just get me a deal. I got me a deal here. Beep, beep. Deal alert. What do I got here? Unboxing. I'm saving you from the unboxing. But this is just come in the mail. I got two Charter Special Shimano's Level Wind Lever Drag. Yes, sir. And they are like brand new on eBay. Look it. There ain't even no grease in there. I mean, there is nothing. There's not a mark on these things. You can look up in here. This is always where you can tell. If there's any grit or grime or anything, it's going to hide right up in there. Two Charter Specials. Old Charter Specials. Well, not old, but they're not made in Malaysia. They're made in Japan. I'll tell you, when I was a kid, things that were made in Japan were junk. Then it went to things made in India were junk. And then now, everybody blames everything made in China is junk. Isn't it funny how it goes around and around? Why did I pick these two up? I got another one here. A deal. I got me a deal. I, I'm like Jerry Seinfeld's dad. You know, if it wasn't bought on the street in New York City, then Jerry Seinfeld's dad always used to think he wasn't a good deal. Definitely seemed to work. I gotta adjust these, of course. Now, normally, in the charter business, like, you'd never, ever really use lever drags because customers, you know, their hands are just always flailing around all over. I mean, non-fishermen, let's put it that way. Non-fishermen. So as they're reeling, they're, they're hitting this, and I've had that happen with my Jigging Master Wiki Reels, in which I'm selling. I'm selling them because I don't use them that much, so I'm asking $5.50 with free shipping. If you're interested in Jigging Master Wiki Reels, I've got them on the Hull Truth message board. These are beater reels for bottom fishing, bull reds, super heavy duty bottom fishing. And the reason I was told 25 years ago, don't, don't use the uh, lever drags on charters. Well, I'm usually going to be handling these, putting them out, casting them, that kind of thing. And then, um, I mean, even on my wiki reels one time, we had a big, I mean, like a 55, 60 pound black drum hooked up. And a guy hit that in free spool with a 50, 60 pound drum, black drum on. Not good. All right, hang on, bat phone again. All right, I'm back. What the hell was I talking about? That was some guy looking by himself. He tumbleweeded into Jacksonville, Florida. He's here one day and he wants to go fishing at night. I told him I don't run that river at night. I used to work for Towboat US and I almost got run over there doing uh, running towboat at midnight in that river. So he said he's going to look up a pier. I told him we got a brand new pier. But he says, do they rent fishing tackle? I said it's owned by the city now, so I don't think they do all that fancy stuff. I couldn't tell you. I haven't even seen the pier. So, either way, what was I talking about? So, but can you believe these? They're like brand new. Now, I used to have the 1000s back in the day. I don't, I think I got rid of them because, I don't know, back then, they just felt like they were kind of flimsy. But they're not that flimsy. You know, that's just me. They're graphite, so you know what they remind you of? is they remind you of the toughest reel known to man, the Shimano TR100G and or TR100GT or the Triton Speedmaster, whatever. So these are gonna be for that bottom fish and I'm gonna be casting them, I'm gonna be putting them out 
when a rod completely doubles over, fish on! Testing out the drag. I think it's gonna work. Who let them dogs out? I love getting a deal. Can you imagine? Two for the price of one. These are gonna be some serious beaters. These are for putting in the back pole holders with a big old chunk bait on it. Come on. <laughs> 